Hello, welcome to the Spider Pop Arcade. I'm Gordon. I'm here with Magpie and Blanc again. We're doing more Echo. I'm yeah. I'm prepared to see Leo and Chase just make more and more incredibly and increasingly stupid condition, uh, stupid choices, stupid decisions. So, oh boy, <laughs> how about yogurt parfait? I, I, I need the sweetness right now to. To calm myself. It's, oh my god. Alright. Uh. Right here. Oh, wait. Wait, what? No. No, there we go. Perfect. Um. Load game. Oh boy. Okay. The last. Last game, they did incredibly stupid shit. And then they did something almost, like, just incredibly high levels of stupid in the bathroom yesterday. And then something happened with Leo and it had to stop. Leo was also yeah. very drunk. But they were also nearly killed. Yeah, boy, howdy. I, I, I'm still upset that, like, after all this, Leo is just like, you should move in here. Hold on a second. Turns around, punches out a meth head. Please? <laughs> It starts with some good news from Flynn. Carl had been in the crawl space. What? Huh? He was in the crawl space of the attic of his home? Wait, like, yep. the crawl space, like that, those little spots that, like, the, the storage underneath stairs. Yeah. He was oh. under the stairs. He was in the cabinet under the stairs. Oh, the my God. According to he him... Was doing a, he was doing a Harry Potter. Is what yeah, is what he was life. doing. According to him... Uh, it had been too hot to sleep anywhere but there. Of course, that's fucking insane, but it's definitely something Carl might do. <laughs> In better spirits, Leo suggests that we go out to some burger joint, to which I agree. On the way, we chat about my project. So obviously, I don't want to spend all our time just having fun. You'd have a product to do, after all. Yeah. Oh, God. Sorry. The granola in this thing's fucking awful. <laughs> and I'm, there's this granola that has like dried apples in it but they've been dried to hell and back and unless they're properly rehydrated it's like eating a small rock uh. okay. I don't remind him that most of this messing around has been his idea uh, excuse me? <laughs> most of the messing I mean, no yeah well uh, I mean but he's got along with it a little too easily <laughs> you're right though <laughs> Well, we do no, need to hang... hang out with TJ today, if that's okay. I promised him we would yesterday. He's been feeling kind of down, obviously. Oh, boy. I looked down at my sausage biscuit sandwich, the excess grease glistening, and the sunlight shining through my window. I was thinking oh, the park. That sounds good right about now. This is why I'm eating the parfait, because it's just like, hey, my body wants calories. And it's just like, well, take from the reserves, goddammit. <laughs> Stop getting hungry all the time. All right. Yeah, that sounds like fun. So, what do you still need to do? Take a bite and give myself time to think. Hmm. Well, wow. good thing I'm actually eating while we were eating this yeah. part. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not too sure. The whole premise is about the body that was found in the mine. Yeah, what was that about? Well, I read about it on a website. Apparently, some guy's mutilated body was found in the mines, and everyone in town lost their minds. A website? Yeah. Uh, shouldn't you have a better source than that? Well? Especially if the whole idea of your product is based off of that. I bless someone like Leo chastising me about journalistic integrity is kind of embarrassing. I bet it fucking is, Chase. <laughs> it's not that he's stupid. I guess I'm just used to feeling like the brains of our little dynamic. Anyway. I mean, it's cited. I just need to get the book, which is something else we need, we'll need to do. Do you have a library card? No. No. Wow. Surprising. But I could sign up for one. No, not just me. Don't be bitter. I just want you to do a good job. I'm the one that wants to call. Oh, okay. 
Okay. I'm the one that went to college. I know what I'm doing. All right. Who exactly? Well, okay, they're both assholes. Leo laughs. laughs. Toss them out of the no. car, Leo. You're both better than this. Honestly. You know, I know I read a study about college kids. A study? Sounds like something you wouldn't know about considering. You'd... What the fuck, <laughs> man? Hey. I mean, right. these are... He, he is joking, right? This is a joking tone? I can't I tell anymore. So. I feel like it's halfway jab, halfway, like, real. Maybe. Uh, right. Anyway, it was about how college doesn't make you smart, just more liberal. I mean, this country's making more people liberal by the day. <laughs> uh-huh. So is that a bad thing? Well, paying 20000 a year to get indoctrinated just doesn't appeal to me. I found. Is that why you stopped going? Or have you just been looking up these studies to make yourself feel better about betting? Oh, God. That did sound like a legitimate question, though. Yeah. That's, That's a strong word. I guess I just realized that I what I had was good enough. No, it's not, Leo. This is a terrible, <laughs> terrible place. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is good. My dad makes more than uh, most college grads, and he's teaching me the trade, too. Hmm. What does that do? Yeah, works on cars. Mechanic. I mean, mechanics and construction worker are decent careers with stable income. Yeah. I don't understand why our education system looks down on them. <laughs> Leo pauses as he changes lane, lanes around every massive 16 wheel carrying what looks like steel. Buy yourself a better boyfriend, Leo. <laughs> uh, I'm already certified. Okay. Where exactly are you going with this? I just want to make sure you're okay with that is all. Oh, well, I'm not. Oh, well, I'm not Jenna. As long as you're doing what you want, I really don't care what it is you decide to do. Leo you know, smiles. Well, we're good. And if we, you know, I'm not saying we will... But if we ever get together again, I'll be able to support you. Mm. This, uh... <laughs> this is hitting me hard. Because mm -hmm. I had a, con a similar conversation with someone. Mm. Oh, boy. That poked a sore spot. I'm fine, I'm fine, yeah. I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> well, we don't make... Well, well, j well, just don't make fun of me for going to college or what degree I decide to go into. You know, you're a good enough, no, sorry, a good enough writer already. You could have just started a blog or something. What? I just read that that's what journalism is these days. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna start sulking again. He's saying you could be independent, man. Come on. We should stop looking these things up. Ah, There's a lot of reflection and anger. No, yeah, no, we're only problem. ten minutes into this, and I'm already getting pissed off at the both of them again. <laughs> <laughs> this route was a mistake. I told you. I, I um, uh, I've been waterboarded twice, and the second time wasn't even because of the supernatural shit. <laughs> All right. At least I'm learning to do something. It's not like I just got a degree in psychology and stopped there. Well, didn't you tell me you wanted to go into history? Isn't that worse? Let's just drop it. Ew, God. Ah! Ah! History is interesting, my friend. Get out of here. He's, he's literally just asking questions, too. That's the thing. That I know! <laughs> it looks at me at the corner of his eye. Chula, oh. I'm not making fun of you. Ah. <sighs> Hard case, you're upset at yourself. Well, as long as I start sounding like my dad, I think that's a good time to end the conversation. Oh, you're not into that? No! <laughs> no! Definitely not! <laughs> Finally, something sane, he said. Ah. I fucking hate Daddy King. Yeah. You driving silence? I have a feeling that that. Well, I don't want to drop names, but there's a co worker we have. I used to think he had a crush on me. Maybe he's just looking for more queer people to be friends with. I can't tell. But, like, 
He does get on my nerves a lot, and I have the feeling that he has a bit of a daddy kink. I yeah. would have to support what you're saying because I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> Here, I could type. I could type the, the. I could type the name. <laughs> you in Discord. Okay. Let's see. That he did that. He, I hate that he did that last thing I mentioned. I mean, it's, yeah. I, it's fine that he he likes it, but like, you're removing a part of the human body that makes it easier to show expression. <laughs> so I never know what the fuck he's feeling anymore. I don't care what he feels. I don't like him. <laughs> I really don't like him. Uh, hey, he can be kind of condes- he, he has, like, this very condescending tone a lot. Hold on, let's see. Okay. Just wanted to make sure- Because I had to click out the window when I do that. The, yeah. the display capture stops. Okay. All right. <sighs> uh-huh. Okay. We drive in silence for a while. Leo pulls out his food from the brown, grease-stained paper bag. Excuse me. As we're leading back, he nudges me. Hey, I have an idea. Oh, boy. What, you want some roadhead, homie? Oh, God. <laughs> he, talk, he talks with his mouth full, one hand holding onto a sausage biscuit while he, the other steers. Are you asking me? Hey, both hands on the wheel. Chuckles as he swigs from his orange juice carton with his... Fuck, now I want breakfast from Jack in the Box. Okay. Yeah, Chuckles as he swigs his orange juice carton with his steering paw before returning it to the wheel. Even when I'm in the car, you drive like shit. Hey, I'm way more careful when you're with me. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, oh, oh no, you got drunk the last time I was with you. I didn't seem very careful. God, he just downed 10 beers in one go before Tracy even managed to get to his second one. <laughs> Makes me feel so much better. Good. I'm pretty sure that was sarcasm. <laughs> he takes another huge bite. I wait while he chews. When he finishes, he takes another bite. You were saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know those train tracks behind my yard? Didn't you say they were important somehow? Yeah, Aka used to be an important junction. Well, why don't you go there and you can film some stuff? The rail yard is like a five minute walk away. I think. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh boy. Leo smells panting a little in the heat, looking proud of himself. Cool. We'll go over once we get back. I have a feeling there's no air conditioning in this car. Oh god, I hate that shit. Mm hmm. Oh, it's got windows. You know what? Sometimes that's enough. There's not much left of the, of the old train yard. The building that used to be. used to service the junction. It's basically gone, say, for, for the foundation. There are two groups of abandoned freight cars with Golden Gate Southwestern and Chip Chain on the side. I bet there's a lot of that face. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see it since it'll help with the scenery I'm trying to capture. After doing a few paneling shots, along with some close ups of the cars, I lean against an old freight car with my head back and close my eyes against the heat. I'm al it's almost noon, so it's almost impossible to find any good shade out here. For some reason, it's only now that I realize how stupid it was to do this so early. <laughs> the sunset would have looked a lot better along with it being a lot cooler. He has gone almost 20 minutes at this point. He said he was going to get some water bottles, but it's been a while. Uh, the sweat seeping into my shirt makes my skin crawl. After looking around, I peel it off and hang it up against a small ladder on the frame of one of the freight cars. I lean back against the exact same spot I was earlier, where it wasn't burning hot and had to resume closing my eyes. Oh, man. I'm already getting nervous. Whenever whenever someone goes to sleep in this thing, it's just like, ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> Vaguely, I wonder how many miles this thing has covered, how much of the country it's seen. The railway was closed down in the 60s, so it's at least over 50 years old. Unless they're just using Echo as a dump for unwanted trade cars and left them here recently. The older I am, there's... Well, a lot older than I am, there's something weirdly comforting about leaning against something that 
has been through so much. Almost reassuring. It's like swimming in an old river. Or a lake that's been around for millions of years. Something... Something brief connected to things that are permanent. I hear rustling through the grass on the other side of the car, but I keep my eyes closed. But yeah, I think I'm gonna die. I'm not built for the heat. Oh wait, but he doesn't say anything. Leo? This thing starts up again. A long, slow drag through the dried vegetation. This time it's like something coming under the train. Uh oh. Leo? Let me open my eyes and step away from the car, turning around to look at it. Uh, look at it like I can see through it. What are you doing? Obviously trying to scare me, Leo. That's never as subtle as Jenna. But he did his fair share of at least trying. I lean over and look under the car, glaring. You know, if you're trying, I met with emptiness under the car. Just dirt, dead grass, and rusted nails. Is it some kind of animal? It sounded pretty big to be. Ah, oh, you it. bitch. <laughs> he fucking finally got it. <laughs> Fuck! A heavy paw slams on my shoulder and I jump as Leo shouts right next to my head. I stumbled forward, but he grabs me up laughing. <laughs> Holy shit. I've never seen you jump that hard before. Normally I'd be pissed, but the build up just had me glad it was Leo. But how did he do that? Do what? That whole setup you did. I fucking Whoa. hate this song. You see, Damn it, I hand. hate this song! I'm gonna clap it on your shoulder. No, the whole walking around behind me and making that dragging sound under the car. Huh? Uh-oh. Uh. It looks confused. I frown. I guess it would have been kind of impossible for someone's Leo size to sneak around without me seeing him. Did you hear something? Leo mimics my earlier position and bends over under the train. Yeah, but there wasn't anything there. I thought you were trying to scare me. But I didn't do that. Probably some animal or something. There's a lot of weird dialogue out here, you know? He stands up. That would have been a good idea, though. <laughs> Sounded really heavy like a person. Could have been. You know, a lot of weirder people around here like to come here to get drunk or high or whatever. God. It sounds fun. I'm so fucking like, no. <laughs> I hate hearing it. After the fucking bedroom scene. <laughs> I must still look under because Leo sits a hand on my shoulder. Well, I'm here now, so don't worry. His eyes drift down to look at my torso. Damn, he's getting shaved. Well, better shape. I guess he was too drunk to notice last night. <laughs> <laughs> Just like rubbing his shoulder. Something every day helps. I yeah, rubs my shoulder, grinning. You look okay. good. You always say that. And I always mean it. <laughs> well, thanks. Not to the point where I've just stopped pretending that there isn't at least something still there between us. Ah! <laughs> and I think I've stopped pretending that nothing's gonna happen on the script eventually. Oh god. Ah, oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> what really worries me is what will happen after okay at least he has the fortitude to realize that like okay if i do something that is something i'm gonna have to deal with are you gonna want to deal with it chase meanwhile leo meanwhile slides his hand over my stomach not that i care if you gain any weight that happens but i like you that way well this way yeah it happens let me hesitate for a moment oh my god uh -huh. oh, no. uh -huh. His ears fall back, real. though. He keeps the grin on his face. Being wolf makes it hard, you know? I believe you. Excuses. As if to try to convince me he hasn't really gained the weight, he flexes his abs, flattening the soft fur of his stomach against my palm. Uh, steel wrapped in velvet. Wow. Mm -hmm. But you know I'm into that. I get the urge to just... What? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> so let's begin. But I don't want to make it that obvious that I'm aroused. Do you mind killing some other part of me? You're making me feel fat. 
Oh, yo, before I slide my hand up his torso. Oh, Jesus! Uh -oh. That's just off, huh? More of the white stomach it's all the way. <laughs> Damn, it's that hot in that go. That better? You know, just gives a breathy, uh, breathy, laughing exhale as he lets me feel him. He slides closer, resting both his hands on my waist. Meet you old pecs touching. Mm -hmm. I feel his peck with my hand as I thumb through his fur. Oh, Jesus. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my god. In public, really? <laughs> with all the with no, all the meth needles and nowhere. rusted nails on the floor. Uh, this is also a good point. <laughs> Remember our first kiss? Is that gonna be a boner killer? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. I forget. This isn't the exact spot. Was it really six years ago already? Uh, eh, inside both my hands under his shirt and oh my god. Really? What is wrong with you two? <laughs> Neil hugs me back and starting. Oh no. <laughs> hey, can't we just enjoy it the sure moment? It, it sure is appropriate that we're in the tracks because this is a train wreck. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Hold on, what if that was intentional? <laughs> oh man. I am. Oh boy. Wait, what do you say? Yeah. I'm oh, enjoy the moment. Okay, but I'm not sure if I just run into it, but oh no. I was afraid this was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a small peck. No, no, it's not. It's a yeah, no, oh no. no. Uh huh. Ah. Uh. Oh my. Oh my god. Yep. Horror al element? Is there any horror elements in the area? Please. Stop I could really it. use one right now before this becomes the horror please, element. Please save us. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, god, we've already established this is the horror element. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking cut. I fucking love it. Was it cut or cooed? Good. All right, good. Leo coughs and surprise <laughs> pulling back as well. Back on. Uh, 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 <laughs> good. Good. What's up? He saw everything. <laughs> His expression is hard to read as usual, but I see the corners of the crook up after a while. Not much. What's up with you? Oh, you know. Stuff. He's so bad at this. <laughs> Laughs well, and finally cuts his smiles. Hey, Kudzu. They kept feeling awkward seeing so I left for Kudzu got us like that. That's in my direction. Chase, so what are you guys really doing down here? Seems like kind of a dumpy place to be doing that. <laughs> I'm smiling for once. I think, he, I think he legitimately cares about Leo. He does. He's he's one of the good people in that club, I want to <laughs> say, he's honestly. You do what? He's genuinely a good person. Okay. He's one of the good characters. All right. I blush, but turn and point the camera bag sitting inside the opening of the car. Well, it's filming for my project. This place is important to Echo's history. I see. <laughs> you could ask you the same thing. Well, good. I'm not exactly doing that, am I? Anyway, I would just take walks sometimes on my days off. In the middle of the day? Usually. I've actually been wanting to take a walk lately. Mm. I might Something. do that. I might do that today. We'll see. He narrows his eyes at me, clearly thinking that I'm suspicious about something. They quickly add, I mean, I just did so hot out here from time to time. Uh, uh, at this time of the day, I die. Turns his shoulders on chill out. I don't know. I go for walks a lot. And that's what I was doing last night when I found you two. Hey. Thanks for stepping in last night. I could have ended badly. Drugs again. It would have. I had to do something, didn't I? Well, we appreciate it. Up slam around me in the hugs. So, uh how is it when it came to? Pissed yeah. off Oh Obviously. sorry. That's no, okay. 
He always is. But he said some things last night. You should stay away from him for a while. Who's Kotu's normally passed the face with some concern for the first time. What? He said he was gonna kill me? He also says it lightly, like it's not a big deal. Among other things. <laughs> Uh, that's look to me. I, I give a start. What? Well, wait, did he say some shit about Jake? Oh no! Oh boy. Those hackles rise and I can see him. Well, oh, and I can. I, is that a typo? See him. A typo. Yeah. See him starting to bare his teeth. Again, he was on something last night. You might not even remember it, but I'm just warning you to be careful around him from now on. If he looks back at Leo. Don't provoke him. I wouldn't if he wasn't such a fucking asshat. Just ignore him. I swear to God, if he talks about doing shit to Chase. Grip tightens even more around me. Uh oh. Hey, I'll be gone in a few days. Don't worry about me. I am worried about you. I'm just getting really tired of that meth skeleton messing with everything I do. And if, if he fucking tries something with you. Leo. There is tense and I can feel Leo growling deep in his throat. I need to change the subject I speak up. Um, hey, Kudzu. You know, we were going out to the park. Uh, oh, we were going out to the park and hang out. Did you want to come? Thanks, but I think I'm good. You know, perks up from his brooding. You know what? I think that's a good idea. If we're going to play some soccer and there's only going to be three of us, you could help even it out. Good to do things. Mm, well, I suppose I could use a workout. Ha, <laughs> you're just like TJ. I think you guys will get along great. Oh. Uh huh. I can't really- I don't really see TJ and Kudzu getting along just because they're fitness conscious. They're practically night and day. Well, we're heading out right about now. You wanna come? Hesitates for a second longer before he nods his head in a quick jerk. Alright, yeah. Why not? And with that, I gather my equipment and we head back to Leo's house. Oh, surprising the echo. Hardly has an inch of flat grass in the entire town. Leo says they're planning to lay down sod next to the lake when the area is further developed, but as of now, we have to settle for a park near Peyton. It's a plain stretch of grass usually used for youth soccer games. There needs, I want, there needs to be a visual novel spinoff of like the city officials that work, that work in the city. In Peyton? No, an Echo. I don't mm -hmm. know what the fuck the city officials of this place do all day. <laughs> Are there city officials? It's not a city. They can't be, you know. Oh, maybe whatever. then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just. It's, I not keep... even, it's, it's not even a village. It's more of a hamlet at this point. Uh huh. Oh, mm. <laughs> well, what was it? Okay. Oh, it's a plain stretch of grass usually used for youth soccer games. In fact, I can remember when I was part of the that same organization back when my stubby legs didn't matter as much. Of course, after a few years, it became clear that being an otter, I wasn't built for the sport. That's when I took up swimming, of course. But then I realized I wasn't really great at that either. Of course, you could swim. Uh, of course, I could out so many non-aquatic, but when it came to other otters, I was pretty much bottom of the barrel. We drive TJ stays next to me. I look over at him, and he's got his elbows against the armor staring out the window as we pull into the empty parking lot. Everything all right? His perk up and looks over at me, clearly forcing a smile. Of course. Oh boy. Oh. You don't seem that way. What's up? Leaning closer to him. Oh, I was talking to Kudzu in front, so we have some amount of privacy. He looks down at his lap for a moment and then just shrugs. I think it's pretty obvious, Chase. This whole trip has been pretty, pretty bad. Mm. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Yeah. I'm about to counter that it hasn't been that bad, but he goes on. I just think it might have been best if I hadn't come. I feel bad, that's all. Aww. 
He tries not to frown, but does anyway. It's both heartbreaking and adorable at the same time. <laughs> Medically rests upon his shoulder reassuringly. Stuff happens, right? You need to have fun, and that's what we're going to do right now. Yeah. It's just that I feel bad for everyone else. What happened yesterday, I think it affected everyone. No way. I had a great time with Leo yesterday. It wasn't said at all. Okay, but what about everyone else, Chase? <laughs> what about the demon in the mirror? Uh, what about the fight you were nearly killed? Was that a fun time? I realize that statement makes me look like a total asshat, but DJ nods as Leo parks the car. We're here. We reach the field, uh, Kudzu immediately starts jogging the length of it while TJ stretches. I sit there awkwardly for a second, I'm not really sure. I fucking hate this song too. I stand there awkwardly for a second, not really sure if I should join? Oh Jesus, this is a little too loud. Okay, there we go. Alright, should be fine. Not really sure if I should join um, them since that felt a little overboard for something so casual. At least I hope it's casual. He arrests the soccer ball against his hip as he joins me. <laughs> Apparently. Well, it's not a bad idea. Don't want to pull anything. So me and Leo do a few awkward stretches before the other two join in the middle of the field. So, try to pick teams. Oh boy. There's only four of us. It's gonna be two large. You saw you guys. You wanna pick? He looks between us before his eyes settle on me. Chase. Really? Oh, he wants okay. To it's probably best to keep the lovers off the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I at least want a little bit of a challenge. It still gives me a little smirk. I blush, but Leo smiles easily, rolling his eyes. It's not like that. Sure, it isn't. Mm -hmm, sure. <sighs> so I'm on Leo's team. DJ saddles up to, uh, to Leo's side, and the wolf puts an arm around his shoulders. Yep, you're lucky to have me. You know, in my country, we had a war over soccer once. Oh, oh, well, that's I don't believe you. I don't believe you. No, this is a true story. This is a true story from Central America. <laughs> it's true. Thousands died in the football war. This is a, a real thing. Oh, <laughs> my God. Well, let me get the rest of this parfait. That's, I, I type football war. That's not, that's not right, no. Football war. Hey. Football war. Soccer war. Also known as the 100... 100 hours war, 100 hours war, was a brief military conflict between El Salvador and Honduras in 1969. Oh my god. Yeah, it's real. It all started over a football match. <laughs> I think it's funny that it's, uh, I, why isn't it referred to as the 100 Hours War? That's, uh, that sounds like such a Gundam parody. <laughs> God. Wait, do you call it football? Because that seems pretty confusing since you're really into the other football. Spanish. I live here now, so football is soccer, and football is football. But if I were to call soccer football, I'd call it football. <laughs> oh, God, no, it's football. Boy, it's confusing. Football. Let's just start. Let's look around. Since there's so few of us, why don't we just play half field? Grab a few rocks to mark the goals. After that, uh, after that's done, we start playing, and for me, it's pretty much a disaster. TJ, of course, dominates all of us. He dodges around with ease, making me look like an idiot as I spin around trying to catch him. Play falling on my ass more than once. Kudzu is able to hold his own for the most part, but TJ gets past him without much difficulty. I think the Lynx realizes how badly he's beating us after a while it starts to ease off. He passes it to Leo more often and only really steps in when we get near the goal. Leo, while big, is slow as hell and I actually managed to steal the ball from him a few times. I also think it's because he's not taking this seriously at all because he keeps laughing and slapping me with his tail when I run past. Oh, God. Uh, I don't want what they have. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, with the score at, like, 7-0, to zero, I managed to get near the goal. TJ jogs as I kick in the ball clumsily, so it's clear that he misses 
on purpose that everyone busts out laughing as he rolls into the net. TJ frowns. What? That was a great kick, Chase. I lean over resting my hands on my knees, I guess, for breath. If you're going to let me score, you have to (laughs) make it look more convincing than that, man. Also, I'm not five. I can handle getting my ass kicked. (laughs) See, a little embarrassing. (laughs) After a while, he would switch up teams. He was hiding laughter. That wasn't embarrassed. That was him like, yeah, you fucking suck. <laughs> After a while, we switch up teams, TJ on my side and Kudzu and Leo together. It's a bit more even after that with me being TJ's handicap after all. About half an hour, we call it quits and head back uh, to the parking lot where Leo throws us water bottles. Is it just the four of us? Yeah. We- oh, okay. It's the boys. It's the boys. Hmm. I wet my face as I sit on one of the parking blocks. Even though it's early evening, the weather is still way too damn hot. Leo and TJ are already up again. TJ showing him some of the moves we had so viciously used on me. I'm glad to see TJ is somewhat happy again. His ears are up and he's smiling as he runs circles around Leo. How am I supposed to learn anything if you're just going to use them on me? Just trying to make me look dumb, huh? Sorry, sorry. Right, first thing you need to do... I noticed Kudzu standing a few feet away watching along with me. So I guess you've known Leo since you moved to Echo? Kudzu looks over at me before leaning back against Leo's van. Yeah, you saw me moving in and insisted on helping, so that's how I met him. Sounds like Leo. Kudzu takes a swig from his water bottle. He's a good guy. Definitely. So you used to live here, right? In Peyton? Unfortunately, I guess Leo told you. Man, the grass is always greener, am I right? Mm-hmm. I wonder what's the problem with this town. Oh, I know what its problem is. Its problem is that it's right next to Echo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also remember Leo saying that some bad things had happened in the city for the raccoons, so I wonder if I should press or not. It sort of just seemed like I was making fun of your name a few days ago. It's a cool name, just different, you know? <laughs> he smirks. Mm-hmm. No, I know it's weird. You just caught me at a bad time is all. So my legs out sighing and it's my knees pop. Ugh, relatable. Ugh. Ugh, I'm not built for running around. Well, you're for swimming. Why is my eyebrows that his bluntness? It's not, um, it's not really species this thing to say, but most people don't often point out species aptitude. Um, so I guess I wonder why you moved to Echo. It was such a dump. He's a... He is a raccoon? Is he a raccoon? Because that makes sense. No, he's so a moving, uh, moving to the dump. That's that. That's that's. That's <laughs> raccoon Jesus. behavior. Now I'm being specious. God. God. I wonder if there are any bird people in this universe. Maybe. It's just silent for a while. Any, so you know. Uh. Uh, <laughs> bird erasure just going on here. <laughs> casually. Just... The whole game is specious. Oh, huh. Alright. It's just silent where, where for a is while. The bird representation? <laughs> In the meantime, we watch Leo fall on his ass after TJ kicks the ball between his legs. People. People. Huh? People are the reason why I left Peyton. Oh. Good lord. Peyton is technically a small city with just 7,000 people. 70,000 people. Compared to Pablo, that's nothing. The more people there are, the worse it is. It's the same anywhere. Hmm. Ah, okay. It goes on. Sure. In Echo, there's like a hundred shitty people, but in Peyton, there's like 50,000 of them. I prefer Echo. This tone is so dark at this point that I don't even respond. Something definitely happened here in Peyton, and I don't care to ask what it was. Luckily, I'm saved... Uh, except an awkward silence as Leo half hardly kicks the ball in our direction and TJ comes running to us. Damn it. All right. I think that's enough for today. <laughs> he jogs over, wiping his face. Man, I need a shower. You two getting along? When Kotsu doesn't say anything, I pipe up. Yep. Brown's clearly sensing something's wrong. Well, Okay. Anyway, let's go out and get some ice cream. I've been really craving it. Mm-hmm. And up slowly needs popping again as we pile into the car. As we drive, TJ continues to stare out the window, but his ears are up and he doesn't seem depressed anymore. I lean over towards him. Feeling better? 
It, it turns to look at me smiling. Yeah, it was fun playing with you guys. I grin. Insanely good. Fix his head. Not compared to the other guys at school. I'm not aggressive enough, but it's fun. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. DJ nods. It's too bad we can't come back and do it again tomorrow. Hmm? Why not? I'm not crazy about doing it again, but I'm not sure what would prevent it. He looks at me. Well, your project... It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, right? No, it's Thursday. Wednesday was birthday. the birthday party. Mm -hmm. I frown. I don't think... Hey, what flavors do you guys want? Leo practically shouts back at us. I look around. We aren't even at the ice cream parlor yet. Doesn't seem to matter to TJ, though. Ooh, cookie dough. It's been so long since I've had it. Wow, you're a fucking child. <laughs> you leave cookie dough alone. <laughs> I like my cookie dough. Stop I mean, it. I like it, but also I've, uh, I've always had a preference for fruit flavors when it comes to sweet. So, I like, I usually, I usually go for, like, this, whatever's fruit there. Mm. Usually strawberry. Really? I didn't know you liked the flavor. And somehow I was able to keep up the conversation about ice cream flavors all the way to the actual ice cream parlor. How far away were we from it? Are we back? What, what's this place? This oh, he's looking yards. He's looking at the shots. Okay. Mm -hmm. I decided the shots I got earlier in the day were too bright. There's gotta be something in the pictures! Oh, boy. Not representative of the sad state of the town that I wanted. Uh, the setting sun does a better job of... Oh, okay, so we're back there. Yeah, oh, right. The Crazy setting sun thing. does a better job of capturing the desolation and bittersweet depression of it all. A metaphor for an end, in a way. At least that's how I hope it'll come across. I lean back against the old rusted car, clicking through the images I'd taken. It feels very quiet, despite all, despite the wildlife around me. That's why it's easy for me to pick out the footsteps headed in my direction. At first I think it's Leo, and I wonder how he's finished up with his shower so quickly. Then I realize that the crunch of the dried vegetation is too soft and too light to be Leo. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I look up, kind of hoping to see Kudzu, but instead I'm greeted with the sight of Clint headed in my direction. My grip tightens on the camera watching his approaches around the bend of tracks. He doesn't see me at first as he gets to the tracks. He hops onto one of the metal rails and balances there, walking along like he's on a tightrope. Does everyone on Echo just come here to take a walk? I think about walking around the train out of his line of sight and hide until he passes me. While I'm thinking this, he loses his balance and stumbles off the rail, and that's when he looks up. Of course, I'm the first thing he sees when we both sort of stand there watching each other. I don't know what to do. Head said Clint probably didn't remember anything for last night, and I'm not willing to bet on it. It does look like he's not even sure who I am, though. His eyes squinting almost shut. Mouth screwed up as he scratches his head comically he leans forward almost to the point of falling over again definitely on something that moment a look of recognition spreads across his face and his mouth opens wide oh no and he starts talking straight for me About the ness of his movement startled me and i almost dropped the camera i angle myself away from the car so i'm not backed up against it and start taking steps back as he gets closer he stops though about 10 feet and points at me hey I know you. Oh shit, he doesn't remember last night. <laughs> uh, I lost what to say. He's wobbling back and forth, his eyes open wide. Your name? Uh... An awkward pause as I try to determine whether or not he's asking a question. Uh, my name? Chase? Why did I tell him that? You're Leo's fag friend. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Is he saying this in humor or anger? I can't tell anymore. I think he's too high. Yeah, uh, I guess slur running. Yeah, I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're the one to say that though. You get the pass. I get the pass. You get the pass. <laughs> I'm distracted again because that's when I see the handle of a pistol poking out from the front of the waistband of Clint's jeans. Clint glares at me. Fucking Leo, why do you have to hang out with that creep? I, uh, I'm looking around trying to decide the best way to escape in case he loses it. I mean, he's always saying shit to me, always saying shit about my dad. He has a perfect fucking life and rubs into my goddamn face. I take a few innocuous steps back so that the end of the car is right next to me in case I have to duck behind it. 
I, I don't think Leo's life was that easy. It was pretty bad, bad back in his country. Fucking meaner coming here to make my fucking life even worse. Couldn't go home and be happy. Couldn't go outside and be happy. I can't be happy anywhere. He stares at me. And you, you fuck him, don't you? I just stare at him and don't say anything. I feel like if I say anything, could set him off, but he waits patiently for an answer. Flint? Don't you? He shudders, visibly clenching his eyes shut. Fucking imagine you licking his fat ass is disgusting. I mean, is it though? You're the one that thought of it first. I know, that's mm. what I mean. I don't even fucking care that you're fagging around with him. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, you, you gotta have some standards. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, the meth head's saying that you need some standards, Chase. Oh my god! I think this is my favorite part right here. I think this is my favorite part right here. The meth head tells you you need standards. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. If I wasn't so afraid of the whole situation, I probably would have laughed just then. I'll take another step back. Hey, I was actually about to head out. You know, I'm doing this project, that's why I'm here. He glares at me. Me and Leo broke up a few years ago. We're just friends. You don't know what he's like. The things he did to me was way worse than whatever I did to you. Oh. Oh man, this makes me wish Jenna was there when he was talking to drunk ass Leo. But hey, I do need to head out. We can talk about this later. He seems stepping around the car and immediately his hands shoot to the handle of the gun. Hey. I freeze watching his hand, preparing to throw myself to the ground if he pulled out. At the same time, I'm praying he'll shoot his dick off if he does. <laughs> he glares at me. What the hell are you even doing out here anyways? With shaking hands, I point at the camera around my neck. I told you I'm doing a project. I had a smile as I hold it up. Just about Echo? What the fuck is there to say about it? His hand loosens on his pistol and I manage to steady my voice enough to actually speak. Well, there's a history to it, you know? There's history to everything. I'm just trying to figure it out. It looks around, seeming to forget about his gun. Oh, like... like this railroad? Yeah, like this railroad. His eyes are vacant as he stares at the ground, and I think I'm about, uh, think about making a run for it again. Oh! Jump as he snaps his head up. My dad once told me that his dad knew a guy that got killed here back in like the fifties. Ah, sweet a lead. <laughs> oh! Despite the fact that there's a crazy meth head in front of me with a gun, I still find myself becoming interested. I mean, <laughs> me too. I want to know what the fuck happened to this town. Yeah, like, some guy was trying to hop on one, like, way back when that's how people would get around. So this guy was trying to hop on this train here, and when it was leaving the station, but he missed jumping on. And sits down on the dry, dusty weeds and spreads his legs over the rails. And he falls down like this, and it runs over his legs. Oh, Oof. God. Clint brings both hands down in chopping motions over his thighs. Blood goes everywhere. And yeah, he's dead, right? He looks up at me and I realize he's actually waiting for an answer. I guess his questions are never rhetorical. Uh, I'd assume so, right? Wrong. They found him a few hours later and somehow the fucker's still alive. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. I'm starting to doubt the story, at least this version of it. The stones is packed with dirt, so he stopped the bleeding, but he's gone crazy by now. <laughs> he's going on about some creature that came to him and spoke whispers in his ear. Oh, God. This place, <laughs> this place is like... It's a gentrified Silent Hill. <laughs> well, at the very least, I can just stick the story somewhere slow in the project to keep things somewhat interesting. One of, the, one of these local urban legends type stuff. But then he goes to the hospital and they think he's going to live. But he jumps out the fucking window and kills himself. And stands up brushing himself off. My dad used to tell me that story a lot. 
Not like I wanted to hear it, but he liked telling me things I didn't want to hear. Boy, howdy, can I relate to that? <laughs> my father really wanted me to lose my innocence. He wanted me to, like, grow up very quickly because he was raised on a farm, so he didn't have much of a childhood. Mm. He didn't really like the idea of, like, children without responsibilities. And now that he's fucking old, it's just like, you better have abandoned that for your grandson. <laughs> Which he probably has at this point. I don't quite know what to say to that. But I want to keep on his good side. So I make a show of pulling out a notebook out of my bag. Well, thanks, Clint. That actually helps me out a lot. But Clint is still off in his own world, staring off some trees in the distance. It's weird that you needed to hear that story. Because I come here because of it. For closure or something? Because of that guy. Sometimes I think I see him when I'm all high, and then I hear things here, too. Oh, shit. Are we gonna get high off meth and do just, like, some weird spiritual trip through Echo <laughs> at one point? I think I feel like that's what it's gonna end on. Lord. It's scary, but I do it anyways, because it's different. In this town, everything's always the same. You can make a change if you want. That was incredibly depressing, but understandable. The point he starts walking off again, the tracks and towards the group of trees. I decided don't I decidedly don't follow him instead, hurriedly making my way back to Leo's house. <laughs> a lot of time to calm down on the walk back. Leo is splayed out on the couch picking through Oh no! Oh no, it's the scene! I don't even remember what happens at this point, but I remember the TV dinner. I remember the TV dinners. Leo, Leo does not have a he, he, Leo does not have a high quality of living. Oh, definitely fucking not. Nope. There you are. I warmed one up for you uh, too, but it's probably cold by now. That's right. I'll just uh, put it back in. Uh, Leo watches me as I head to the kitchen adjacent to the living room. Hey, what's What's up? My dinner is sitting on the stovetop, and I make an effort not to wrinkle my nose at the sculpted rib meat covered in barbecue sauce. <laughs> Do you think Leo buys Hungry Men's? I think he would. There's, there's all there's all kinds of like brands of TV dinners at like the supermarket where there's this one that uh, it's it's not the worst one you can buy. They call him Hungry Man. They, they are the biggest ones there. And I'm just... I mean, it's a TV dinner, so yeah, there's a questionable... There's, you know, there's a questionable element to it, but the... I just... The box is more visual appealing than the others because they have a theme and they stick with it. Which is like Old West masculinity kind of stuff. It's like it, they, they try to like old-fashioned, yeah, like cowboy men kind of thing. Okay, let's see. Watery mashed potatoes complements that gooey mess. Nothing. Just tired is all. Uh, it tossed the... <laughs> Sorry, the beeps. The beeps I found funny. <laughs> it tossed the dinner back okay, into the microwave. I already beat. What's going on? Yeah, and set the timer for two minutes. That's too much. Unless if this is a really... Sh unless if this is a really shitty uh, microwave. Like 30 seconds or a minute. As it's warming, I turn back around to lean against the counter and face Leo in the living room. Hey, I was wondering something. Mm -hmm. Leo looks back at me, ears falling back a little. It's about Clint. Leo's brow furrows. And when you guys are at each other's throats, I know there's always been some animosity between you two, but I don't remember it being this bad. I frown. It's practically when each other dead. Bends his ears back while he licks barbecue sauce off his fingers. I really don't know, Chase. If I had to say, I think it would be the drugs. The drugs? Mm-hmm. Whenever he's taken, it's pretty hardcore. I mean, he's a goddamn skeleton now, right? Yeah. But it's not like I'm responsible for it. I just treat him like he treats everyone else. But my mouth hesitate and then finally ask, ask what's been bothering me. When we were younger, would you say that you bullied him? Leo frowns. What bring, what's bringing all this up? Nothing, I'm just curious is all. 
When Yoff starts to smooth down the fur on his head, all poofed up from his shower. I mean, it wasn't nice to him, of course, but he was an asshole to everyone else. Like I said, I did to him what he did to others. He coughs. <clears throat> Maybe a little worse. Worse? What he did to us is pretty bad, though. He tried to burn me with a cigarette once. See, when you tell me shit like that, I don't feel bad for any of the things I did to his worthless ass. I'm saved from having to respond to that as the timer goes off. Ugh, boy. Let's see. I turn around and pull my food out of the microwave before grabbing a plastic fork and sitting down next to Leo. We eat in a slightly, slightly awkward silence. By the time I'm almost finished, I'm feeling a little nauseous. Uh, not to be rude, but we always eat this stuff. Huh? He looks up at the mouthful of mashed potatoes. This microwavable dinner stuff. He swallows loudly. Yeah, you don't like it? He lowers his ears looking embarrassed. I'm- Oh my god, did you- I'm just kind of picturing him. So, like, there's this thing in anime, uh, Megs, where, like, when someone wants to prep- wants to make dinner for, like, someone they really like, they often put on, like, a pink frilly, like, uh, apron. And I just pictured Leo doing the same, but he ain't cooking anything. He just got his cute fancy apron on and just pulling shit into the microwave. <laughs> Power I know, like, no, this needs to be. He's just looking at all the TV dinners in his sweat on his in his fridge. No, Chase deserves something fancy. Pulls out the barbecue ribble. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. God, these people are making me feel like I'm... You know the meme? Uh, functional... Oh no, disaster, functional, and distinguished? These guys are making me feel functional. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I mean, it's just sad. I look at him sheepishly. <laughs> you little fucker. I get better food sometimes. This is just easier. Yeah... Like the plastic fork through the flaky potatoes. Uh, what qualifies as better food? The diner? Hey, it's not like I can't afford it. I make good money. I laugh. This isn't about money. I just think you're lazy. Ah. <laughs> that was. That was one hell of a red flag. <laughs> Leo mock girls leans over to grab me. I yell the theatrically and try to hold my tray steady as he yanks me sad away. Lay down against him, our heads on the armrest. Hey, I gotta throw away my tray. It's full of gross TV dinner water. Uh, yo. That really okay, that only happens. Okay, it's not as bad if you poke a hole in the film. If you poke like a couple of holes in it, then this you know, some of that water gets out. Yeah. yeah. Leo nuzzles into my neck. Mm, <sighs> put it on the floor. Oh my god! <sighs> uh, one of you's gonna forget to With all on the it. others? With all the others. Oh my god. Uh, we haven't even. Uh, the car scene hasn't even happened, and I'm wondering, like, when the fuck that happens. Or maybe that was a different route. That might be a different route, yeah. I we'll will see, let you we'll know see. that isn't a different route. Oh, that so, is something to look forward to. Oh, sorry, in clicked off the game? thing again. I know. Ew, gross. You can, can throw it away when I'm ready to get up. So when do you decide when I can and can't get up? Since you decided to mouth off to me. Now you're the one who's going to be cooking all of my meals and cleaning up my house, Trula. More red uh, flags. Uh. That's not cute. Oh, God, he's reminding me of my old DM. Uh, uh, I shiver and he responds by spooning me tighter. Clearly, Leo's gauge that I'm past the point of resisting at this point uh, in my little vacation and he's taking advantage of it. Estoy loco por ti. I'm crazy for you? Okay, no, that's a. Oh, uh, no, please don't. <laughs> Just, Soy loco por... Oh, no, that's a turn on for me. God damn it. <laughs> you bitch. 
<laughs> Definitely taking advantage of it. <laughs> That's why even I'm like, fuck! Now I relate to Trace, I can't resist the the thematic rolling of an R. Wow. <laughs> We're both too tired to do anything more, which is probably... Yeah, no, that's good. We're both too tired to do anything more, which is probably for the best. And within a few minutes, I've passed out. Oh, no. Oh, shit. We're gonna... Oh. Oh, it's, we're gonna uh -oh. relive that scene on... Whoa. Friday. It's, Friday? it's Friday? Wow, that was a... Saturday, Sunday, what? That was a really short chapter. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I am gonna quit and save before I get emotionally exhausted. Oh, so let's save. No, okay, this is good. I'm glad that one was a short chapter. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Oh, sweet. And there's no music playing. I can just switch to the stream ending without having to close anything. Yeah. All right. Oh, boy. Howdy. Oh, my head. Okay. Do you have a slight headache? Probably from all the yelling. <laughs> because these men keep making terrible, terrible decisions. And yeah, no, thank God they were too tired to do anything there. But also, oh, boy. Hmm. Uh, okay, this one didn't seem that bad, um, because it, it seems like something kept coming up as things were escalating, so I'm hoping that, like, okay, I'm not hoping for anything. I'm just, like, I'm just, okay, what I'm hoping for is that I get a little bit more time before things go off the rails, because I just, you know that's gonna fucking happen. Um, so yeah, we'll end the stream here. I'll probably come back later with something, probably more Sunhaven, because I've been enjoying that, and it's been a great way for me to decompress. Um, I'd like to thank both of you again for this. This was a, I, this was a lot more fun than it was yesterday. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, no. Uh, it, just, it feels good that I'm ending this stream and it's just like, hey, I'm not emotionally exhausted or fatigued. I could go on with my day without having them nap. All right. So, yeah, thank you two again. If you like what you saw, be sure to give me a follow. I'm a variety streamer. I play a variety of games. Who knows? Hopefully I'll finish one of them. And until next stream, remember to stay healthy and stay hydrated. Laters. Bye.